Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Generation Millennium. I'm your host, Jeff Madness, and it is time to, well, reach the benefits of our reward over this past weekend because the online competition is now officially over, or this has been over. I'm a bit late on this recording, but, well, that's life. So in order to receive your gift, well, your mystery gift for your online competition, you need to first unlock your battle team, so go back into the online competition once you've reconnected to the internet. Competition now over. Yep, it has your battle team now been unlocked. Put them here. You can pretty much just... Uh, let's see, I guess you can search for your results. Nice. Hey, here you go. I think this is the result. And here's the result from the last online competition. Because I'll just take a quick screenshot of that. And then from here, you just head back to Scout. Go into Mystery Gift. And now you should be able to receive from the Battle Stadium. Let's see. There we have it, your shiny Galeri Moltres gift is now available! So let's pick this baby up. And hopefully I'm lucky to actually get one with good nature, so I don't have to use the nature mist. But knowing my luck, I probably will anyway. Let's also hope I also get good IVs. And usually when you get mystery gifts like this, they go into the first slots of your party. Well, not first slot of your party, but... The first slots that you have in your PC, so it's over to box one here. And yep, this should be it. I see that tiny symbol there. Let's check out the IVs. Uh, let's see. Give me a moment so I can look at this visual impairment, all that. HP, no. Ah, oh, dang it! I always hope these guys don't have physical attack, but meh. Well, at least it has max IVs and speed, but that's only for special attack, not physical attack. Eh, that's my luck. Look, look at this thing officially. Yep, shiny. I still love the fact that these Galarian shinies, they look like their original counterpart. So that's a Galarian shiny Moltres, so it looks more like his original counterpart with his color scheme. Berserk ability, those are the these attacks he has when you originally would counter him in the in the wild there in the well at the Isle of Armor if you're going through the normal story. Oh yeah he had Sucker Punch, that was the last move he had. And let me check his nature. Oh man, quiet nature, that's terrible. I mean boosting special attack by lowering your speed, that's not good. And your OT. Oh, it's armor. I was expecting for it to be Isle, but like, eh, armor's just as expected. I mean with the whole scheme like Articuno has Crown, Zapdos has Wild, so I was expecting Moltres to be Isle, I-S-L-E, that's how you spell it, or Isle of Armor, but they decided they just put Armor instead. I mean, somewhat disappointing, but, eh, what can you do? So while I'm here... Uh, let's see, I actually want to do some things on this video other than just getting your mystery gift. I actually want to show off how you can pretty much get this thing ready for competitive battling. So first off, I want to give this thing an item and prepare it for online competition that usage. So first things first, give this thing a life orb. And I'll be right back to you, Battle Tower, because I need to max up the IVs, but We'll get back to that in a bit. First off, I want to clone this guy because I want to leave him perfect as he is. In case for future giveaways, and yes, this will be added to my giveaway channel, both on my stream and in my Discord, so anyone who wants to request this Shining Glory Moltres, you're mo more than welcome to do so. So here I am, I'll breed this non... well, untampered version. But you're also more than welcome to request for me a fully trained version. And by fully trained, I mean max IVs, EVs, 
all the other stuff but because I'm about to do it right now. I'm gonna show you the full process of getting this guy ready for online battles. So first up, max out his Dynamax level, big game 10 Dynamite Candy. Or Dynamax Candy, my bad. Eh, got tongue tied there. After that, level him up ASAP. Huh, 21 only did that much. Uh, how many rare candies do I have? Uh, I got plenty of rare candies. Okay, I, I'll just use those instead. Um, seems like I'm running low on experience candy on this safe. I'll have to grind up some more. Alright, you're maxed out over there. Yeah, let's see. I got plenty of PP ups. That I can use those. That's good. And then. Let's see how many. Uh, I have just enough vitamins for Carlos. Nah, that's for speed, isn't it? Carlos' is speed. And I'm trying to look at my screen. Oh, yeah, speed. I was like, I was trying to find the location on the screen where that was. Let's see, calcium. Do I have enough? Oh, I have Good. And special attack rows. And given the amount of damage, I guess I'll just boost the special defense for the last 10 EVs. Yep, won't have any more effect. Good. And let's see, where is the nature mints I'm looking for? That special attack. Defense, gets more down here, speed. Yep, here we are. To be major. Yeah. Even though he already has hurricane, I prefer that he has air slash instead. Better accuracy. I mean hurricane has more power, but air slash has better accuracies. And accuracy is a bit more important in this situation. And last but not least, give it protect. And then, oop, that's the thing, let's get past it. Here we go, do that. And I'll use a air slash. Yeah, he's gonna protect too while I'm at it, why not? Alright. And then back to the battle tower. Select this Moltres. Look like Cherish Ball. And then use the Golden Ball Cap. And now all the IVs have been maxed out. Lovely. So that we can look at this Moltra now that he has he's all tucked up and everything he needs. You can see the IVs. Yeah, I want to switch these two moves around. There we go. I prefer protecting at the bottom. And right now, those are the ribbons he has. And look at my party. Do I have everything I need? No, I do not. I want to do something else, but for that I need a different Pokemon on my team. And I don't think I put them on this box. No rude, nope. Maybe they're over here. Yeah, let's see. What the? Whoops, I was clicking on the wrong source. There we go. Now uh, let's see. No, 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 no. I just know something. The Pokemon cries seem a bit softer than they should be. Uh, 
Okay, the only way I'm doing, I'm looking for my shiny Zostian that I use for battling. Not, not sure where I put it though. At this point, you guys can pretty much just sign up the video if you want. I'm just going through a bunch of stuff, getting this glory motors ready for. Well, I'm, I'm essentially going to show off how to get as many ribbons on him as possible. But the long term, you just got to go to the battle tower. You have to boost his friendship and a whole bunch of other stuff. Oop, I think it just got a Discord message. One moment, let me take a look at that. Oh, never mind, just another streamer. Hmm, seriously, where did I put that Zossier? Okay, don't think it's not there, not there. Maybe I put him over here? Oop, yeah, I think this is him. I guess I'll just put in my team for now. Huh? Actually, let me double check this actually got one. Huh? Let's see, look at his moveset. This would generally tell me. Yep, this is the right one. Perfect. Huh? And then for the sake of just making sure I don't lose huh? progress. Now we talk to you. Actually, no, before I do any of that, back out. One more thing I want to do, I'm going to go to my options because I want to adjust the Pokemon cries. Because I want to make, make sure to max out with everything else here because for some reason they're just not as loud as everything else. Then we go to single battles. I want to have my party brought in. And as per usual, start things off with you, breathe exhausting. And then last but not least, we have Moltres, because we want to get the Battle Tower Ribbon on you. And since I'm in the max level, this means I have to go through a total of 10 battles in a row to win and get to what I want. I'm not sure that's the line or... Nah, but regardless, it's both the grounds that they should go down to a single fish's rend. Pretty well. Then again, I don't think I don't even know if the you know, open stone is even in the competition. Colossal. I should also go down to a single one and I'm getting more messages, but more. Whoa, wait, they could even switch out. Okay, I don't know what you're stop process there. Wait, what? Here's a yellow. Wait, how did you Oh you must have dry skin or something? Huh, so you're gonna have to make it change. I mean off my turn to switch out. Day. I guess that is smart as well because you got me using a water move, now you're making water moves even weaker. Unfortunately, though, for you, one secret sword's gonna knock you out. Well, okay, I'll focus dash. No, you're not, but. Okay, you can back in colossal. Is that enough? Not quite. And there we go, battle one one. If only they could always be that simple. Next. right now keeping an eye on it because I make some online shopping so waiting to see if the shoppers well they're currently shopping right now I just want to make sure that they're not asking me to make any replacements on my order. Let's go push his around. Is that enough? I'm really pretty tanky. Oh god this is counter 
for something, something. You pray to survive that hit. Make sure down now, and I still got by you straight. So fish out too. Not a huge loss. Inteleon. Eh, I'll just keep going for the fish to run. Not very effective, but I should be able to get chunk. I think he moved before me, so that's gonna do as much damage as I was hoping. What was that, Sucker Punch? Dang, how, how do you know Sucker Punch? Stop with a Sucker Punch. I know, this three is gonna lead, although this switch is almost dead. It's not like there's a lot of Pokemon. Is that enough? Oh, was that a crit? Phew! 3 0. Battle number 2. Had me a little, a little bit nervous there. Not nervous I was gonna lose, but nervous I was gonna that Drake versus gonna be knocked out. Think fully we always get killed after every battle, so. Battle number 3, if this is what you have. And with one infinite detail. Now I could just be a complete and old total like I don't know what were you call it, but I could just go on places like Bulbapedia or Therapy and just look up every one of these trainers' move sets, but I'm too lazy for that. Not to mention it's a bit more exciting and more context creative friendly when you just see me being surprised at what goes on. Was that Therapy? That's not Corporate, is it? Yep, Therapy. Oh freaking! Are you trying to PP stall me? Well, take this off. Knock me up. I can probably always use this simple. Yeah, I care though. Are you intimidating, pal? Yes, you are. Well, too bad for you. I'm gonna negate that. Bye bye. I'm guessing the thing might have a dragon type move. Or hurricane, I think that's what he said. Is that enough? Yep, so much. Got number three down. Unless you have security. Sometimes I still curse the fact that in Gen 5 they changed sturdy to allow Pokemon to survive with 1 HP if they're at full health. Like like a built-in focus staff. It makes you and Pokemon like you do so much more annoying. Nice you have a bunch of rock types. Oop. Got an update. Ooh, looks like my store doesn't have one of the items I'm hoping for. Give me one moment. Wild berry flavor will do. First message didn't go through. Wild berry flavor of the same size will do. Alright, message sent. 
And I forget, what's this now? Battle 4? I got distracted. I was trying to keep count, but I may have lost track now. I got a short attention span, so sometimes I forget some detail. Yes, please, comma, do that. Protect on turn one. Wait, come on, we just buy? What's going on here? I don't know if I'm gonna use Ice Shard here for him. <sighs> I guess priority was the best way to counter Drake with this because it negates the whole going first thing. Raja, you have good defenses, so let's see if Vicovic can handle you. Yes, you can! Can I can please? Oh, lava set. And I'm dead. Oh well, no, let's do Galarian Moltres coming up for the first time. Battle was a battle five I just finished. It's a shame that I lost Joyko this year, but let's see what we have here. I think yes, that, that's Oily. I recognize that sound. Hmm, I think Glaley has decent defenses, so let's see if Fisher's rank will not come out. And hopefully the thing is to survive and counter a freeze drive. Like what? So you have a bunch of ice types on your team. And I think it's Rosmon. This should be an easy KO unless you have a focus dash. I don't know why you would though. Yep, there you go. Why can't they always be this simple? Easy victory. And I just realized you're like a what, karate person, NPC? Why do you have a bunch of ice types instead of fighting types? I'm not complaining, but still, that's just odd. And for a second, I thought you were Leon because you had a different, well, a big threat. And a crossbow. Wait, did I already fight you before? I'm the person with a different team. Or, and also not a different team setup. Maybe this crossbow has sturdy. Let's find out. Perfective. Are you alive? No, you're not. Meanwhile, I guess I think this is a different team. And your pressure against PC saw me. What the? Are you faster? Do you have a choice of two? Oh, I still knocked you out. That was fine. I'm not sure if that's the same team or different, but. Wait, what? How did you avoid my attack? I forget what, you have a bright powder item or something? Okay, that was just odd.
Let's continue. Here's the next opponent. I'm sorry if I keep looking away from my game, looking at phone. I'm still trying to keep track of that stuff I was talking about by shopping. Okay, she's on shopping. Good. And get the fly gone. Incoming. Hmm. Should I take the risk? Yeah, why not? I'll take the risk. Oh god! Okay, maybe I shouldn't have gone for that risk. But I wasn't expecting fly gone to be faster than Draco Fish. If I lose because of that mistake, like, that should have been an obvious switch out, but I decided to stay in. Oh, freaking come on! If you miss one more time, I'm screwed. Please be KO. Thank you. There it is. You're throwing my attack stack. Maybe the play rough won't finish you off. Oh, dang. Well, I might be screwed. No more choice, maybe up to you. Are going for a nasty fight right now. I'm down one, one to two. So it's time to Dynamax. Get up some damage and hopefully get some speed going with Air Slash. Pull back Air Strength, really. Here's the first look at a Dynamax Shiny Galari Moltres. Doesn't he look imposing? Let's see a KO. Thank you. Get my key boot. Or if you keep it as a Life Orb. Here we go. Last Pokemon you're sending in there. Hey, five minutes out. And he wins. Phew! I was starting to get a little, a little nervous there. That's what happens when you make a mistake or you let your guard down. Like, I, I thought Dracovish could outspeed that, uh, that Flygon I was facing, but apparently not. I'm gonna think about it. Yeah, you're holding your heart for the item. Wait, you're holding the right item? Oh god, you're not holding a choice stuff, that's why the floor. Why the heck did I give you a comic shard? Oh, that definitely explains why I'm, I'm not doing it. I'm not as fast as I should be. Well, I'm too deep in now. Let's go. The fact I'm still been out feeding most stuff even without a choice stuff, that's pretty impressive. But she also not really comes to the shift, right? Get Bori on this. That would be a good time to switch out to you. Come on, crowd, cheer! 
Yeah, if there's one, I just missed the sound of Falcons attacking, well, just landing there. Is that you, Leon? Yes, it is. You're... I was going to and you're had a lot longer speech pattern than normal. Oh, freaking come on, you gotta start with Sigma code. Well, you saw your usual pattern, you're probably gonna start using a ground move on me. So I'll take the opportunity to switch over into Moltres. And hopefully I'll dodge your ground attack, that's the one you usually use on Sigma on Dracovish. Ha! You use much stuff on me. Take this opportunity to use nasty block. You use rain dance. That's not gonna matter. Thank you. You see me a free turn to power up. And now hopefully there's next air string coming your way will knock you out one hit. Not just make it just gonna take a quick engine mission. And you don't think I need to get my old doctor because they're switching out. Please be careful. Oh, I got a crit, I think. Yeah! So there's a knockout, there's two boots. Hopefully, I'm faster than Charles right now. And he always ends in Charles right second. And I'll go Max Darkness. Now you're gonna attack Gankamax. I got a speed boost, and I got a nasty spot up. As long as you don't. I'm hoping I'll see that knock out one hit. Let's find out. As long as I have higher speed, that's all that matters. I got speed, yes! Oh yes, and I have the damage output. Go Galar and Moltres. The last Pokemon is... Cinder, yeah? I'm gonna try a Focus Dash, and you do. Well then, that Rain Dance that Cyber Coast set up is definitely looking against you there. Now let's finish up this battle, unless you have a priority boot. And I win! Thank you for the battle points. And now, when we go back to check on the Boltress, it should have the Battle Tower Ribbon now, I believe. Uh, yep, Battle Tower alongside the Classic Ribbon, or rather just Tower Master. So let me save my game to commemorate that victory. But speaking of victories, we still have to do go through one more annoying process, well, a few more. So we're still, we're technically already in Winden, but now we need to head over to the Winden Stadium. Because now we need to get the Gala Champion Ribbon onto this thing. Hopefully though we don't get too many annoying battles here. Let's we'll talk to the guy in front and make sure you don't spam A because then you'll be sent to the Galarian Star Tournament, but we want to just go with, with the usual tournament. And then you want to just want to say no to if you want to battle anyone specific in mind. I still find it a bit interesting but unnecessary that they want you to manually enter the stadium. Oh hey, that thing is cute. He usually uses his protect, I mean, take on turn one. So I need to check. 
Ha ha, so cakap video. Dia sangat tetap benar tu Pak Nail. Dia pun tetap 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 tetap. Now I'm going to go for air flash. That's an easy KO. Yeah, they gave me three points I don't need. Yeah, that's a tough. So, this is the third electric poison, aren't you? Why are you on seriously? You're not a drop site. I'm about to take you out, easy. Okay. Yeah, stop wasting my time with Alpha Shot. I mean, I could Dynamax to bypass that thing, but that'd be boring. That's not already overpowered anyway, so there's no point in dying back to me. that? On Malamar? I can use Fire Rack on you. This will be useful damage. Okay, now we just come here. That should be enough, right? I'm going to change the Pokemon and after enough doesn't activate because of the special attack. And victory is mine! Seriously, though, at least that'll be going back so much faster if I have to, have to deal with five Pokemon on every team. That's also one reason why I'm skipping Dynamaxing, so I don't have to deal with the Dynamax animation and D animation once the, the battle finishes. And because of that, hopefully these battles will go by the faster. Hey, is that you, Grass Gym Leader? What's your name? Milo? Yep, that's Milo. I think you have fake out as well. Yes, you do! Haha! <laughs> Come on, DA. I'll go for an active block. Body slam. Don't paralyze, don't paralyze, don't paralyze. Good. Now, air slash. Don't miss. Lovely. And then go fire the grass. This is easy to go. Bye bye. These Jimmy's don't usually have any held items on them, so then I don't have to worry about focus flashes. Serena. Go fire rack again. I can have to bother with that with air slashes because this would be more than enough damage output. Hold it off. Hopefully your ability to lower my speed with cotton down, whatever it's called, doesn't activate with special attacks. I think it is. Having lower speed is a lot of damage right now. Little Slapple. Probably gonna G-Max this. I still find a way to both Slapple and, and Appleton both have like, essentially the same G-Max form. I mean, they look, they look the same to me. Not only when they're in battle, but also like, if you look at their G-Max silhouettes and the Max Raiden, like the silhouette looks pretty much almost exactly the same. If there is a difference, I can tell. I can actually make that comment today. G-Max Appleton and Slapple. Dude, there's... Dude, the sprites have any differences to them? 
the only other difference I know is between their battle cries. And of course their movesets. But possible I think it's basically a physical attack and Appleton is a special attacker. I could be wrong on that, I haven't used them in a long time. Anyway, that was an easy battle. If you need someone easy again, please. Imagine if I had to face Leon again after I've just finished him off the battle tower. But I don't think that's Leon, it doesn't look like him. Oh, Kabu, the fire type didn't leave him. Sparkle doesn't have safe down, but he could yawn on me, I'm guessing? Yeah, well, maybe find out. Of course, your drive ability can activate. Let's go straight for Nasty Plot. I don't know. Let me see what you did just there. Anyways, you're on. Time to start sweeping. Now you're gonna learn my physical attack that would intimidate you. Yep. And excuse me while I go take off it. Let's see if my step grandfather returned home, so I heard a garage opening. Or check up on that. And I just love when these battles are easy, I can just spam the A button, so I was just essentially doing that while checking up on that. And that's the last one I think I just heard. I don't know if we had the last on this team originally. Hopefully not hearing all the garage noise on the microphone. That'd be a real pain. Rear end if you could hear that speed back because I could definitely hear it. IRL. I'll just the vibrations on the floor. My room is literally above the garage, so I can hear and feel each time that door opens. And it gets annoying when it's constantly going up and down. And it looks like I got enough damage output to knock out that scorch one hit. Good. And this is this just proves why legendaries are so OP, going to normal Pokemon, especially when you have something like this with a nasty plot setup. Yeah, we're the champions! And then Ball is gonna run up to us, give us a wishing piece because it's our first time completing the tournament in the, the day. And he gives the wishing piece so quickly. I really hate how he just takes like what well, feels like 10 seconds just to give you a single Pokeball when you do subsequent tournaments after that, but eh, what can you do? I mean, like, stop with the dramatic, just give us the, the prize already. So now when we go check the Moltres, we should have the Gullar Champion ribbon now. Yeah, let's see. I mean, you guys can see it on your screen faster than I can, likely. Oh yeah, there it is, Gullar Champion, then Tower Master. So we have two more routes we can go for. And I prefer we get them at the same time because they're, they're in the same place. But before I do, work, do that... Oop, nope, I don't want to go there. Flight of 6 first. Because now it's time for some curry making. Oop. Oh, there we go. So come here talk to Camp... Cam's Pokemon Camp. Press to make some curry. And let's see, what berries do I have? I forget how many berries I have on this save file. Oh, I have a ton of berries on this save file. Hmm, and why not? Just doing 10 apricot berries.
because Bruno's next we need to create color, my shining color in Moltres' is friendship, which you'll need to cook up, I think, three or four Charles or class curries to, to max up the friendship as quickly as possible. Okay, fire is down fully maxed out. Oh guys, stop fading like crazy. I'm thinking craziness. Time to start stirring like crazy. Yeah, twist that right stick in the clockwise formation. Look at all that smoke, stars popping out the pot. This curry now is perfect. And let's see if I can get the perfect smile here. Dang it, nope, not this time. I wanna see if I can get 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 that golden beam popping out. So that's right on the right NPCs throwing in their love at the same time I do, so that can be a bit tricky. Because sometimes NPC just doesn't move on time, sometimes they do. And when you hear that little sparkly sound, you know you got the Charizard class. And there we go, we're excited. Eat Moltres, eat! And looks like my online delivery is now on the way. Another one, curry down. I don't think you really need 10. You just need to spend a bunch of rare berries, but I don't think it has to be exactly 10. I guess I can experiment. And I guess I'll use this berry. Hmm, yeah, I got plenty. I'll just use 10 again. But typically, if you have an extremely rare berry, I think you only need to maybe use like 3 or 4 of them to get the Charizard class. I never really fully tested that. But I mean, maxing out it. The more berries you use, the, the higher the chances, so... It's just the fact that constantly repeat those mini-games what makes this a bit irritating, you know? Stir the pot! Stir the pot! Come on! Let's see that star! Let's see the smoke! I see some smoke! I see more smoke! I see more stars! Yeah! The curry's now good! I'd be really curious to know how this stuff tastes though. I mean, fried food curry. Ah, nope. We all threw in one, like one, like one after the other, but not in any form of harmony, so that doesn't count. Is that Charizard class again? I think so. Enjoy, Moltres. Yep. <laughs> look, 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 look at what he eats. And FYI, on this safe phone that I'm currently playing on, I already got some all 151 curries done, so that's why you're not seeing anything like new curries being made. I'll just do those amount of curries. I mean berries. Let's see if that can, is good enough rarity to get the Charizard class. Oops, almost went over there because I wasn't looking. Stir, stir, stir! Hmm, looks like I'm not stirring as well as I did before. Oh, wait, there we go. Ooh, that was close. Oh dang, the timing, that timing is like also terrible.
Yeah, I'll collect one more just for good measure. I have to say some sorry. Looks like my order is here. I'll... Oop, and my lunchtime alarm just went off. There we go, fully camped out fire. Through this flash of curry there. You want to move that right elastic quickly, but not so quickly you want to use splash curry all over the place. Ah, save it. Oh well. I really still look at the point of the whole putting your putting your heart into the curry part because well, it doesn't affect the the class quality really. I mean, as long as you put rare berries in, you put a, you put enough rare berries in, and then you you make the fire big enough, you stir the curry well enough, those four components are enough to get you charged across every single time. At least if you're doing it with other, multiple people. And that should be enough. Hopefully, anyway. So let's fly to Hammerlock. And it should be this house, I believe. And talk to this guy here. Yeah, come on. Examine the friendship of my Moltres, please. And there we go! Yep! Four Charizard class curries is enough to get the best friends ribbing from him. Oop, didn't mean to talk to you again. And then this person here. Oop, wrong. And this one should get you an effort ribbon because you got max effort EVs on the Pokemon. And there we go! And there's technically one more ribbon you can get, the Battle Master ribbon, but that requires to do a bunch of online battles, so I'm not going to show off that off here. But just basically, in game, you should now have all the ribbons you can get on this Galarian Moltres, Galarian Champion, Tower Master, Best Friends, and Effort Ribbons. That's how you can get this Moltres up and ready, technically battle ready. So if you guys want this Moltres or just an untampered one, I can get both of these out to all of you out there. So if you liked what I showed here today, like, comment, subscribe, leave comments down below, notification bells. All that stuff on YouTube, and I have links also to my other social medias. I stream on Twitch every night around 9:30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, in which I do Dynamax Adventures. And well, I can't really think of anything much to say, so I guess I'll see you all next time. Take care. Once I find the end recording button, it's always the pain when I'm doing this stuff. And let's see. Ah, there it is. Alright, bye-bye everyone.